Hello, my name is Jake Evans, and I work for the Center for Intercultural Education at Norquest College. This short video will serve as an introduction to the Critical Instance for Intercultural Communication in the Workplace project, which ran from October 2013 to September 2015, and is now available as a resource on our website. The Critical Instance project was realized through funding from Citizenship and Immigration Canada and we thank them very much for their ongoing vision and support for the work we do. Much of the work we do at the Centre for Intercultural Education stems from the way our society and workplaces have become more culturally diverse over time. This project, like many we've engaged in, seeks to help people from different cultural backgrounds work more effectively together by helping them build their overall intercultural skill set. This project differs from other critical incident work we've done in that it brings the complexity of our evolving workplaces into clear focus with the richness of video. There were essentially four phases to this project. First, the data collection phase, in which we conducted interviews and focus groups to gather the real, lived experiences of people in diverse Albertan workplaces. Second, the creation phase, where we use these stories to create scripted scenes, focusing specifically on any reoccurring themes. Third, the feedback phase, where we pass these scripts on to cultural advisors for review, with the goal of improving the authenticity and integrity of the characters. And lastly, the filming phase, in which we film the scenes over five days with 13 different actors. The Critical Instant videos and the accompanying resources are created based on the real-world experiences of people in Albertan workplaces and are supported by the following frames. The Developmental Model of Intercultural Sensitivity, or the DMIS, Norquest's own Something's Up Cycle, and also various cultural value orientations. The interactions seen in the videos all take place within the same fictional organization called Aquam Incorporated. Its characteristics are similar to many organizations in Alberta, and also stem from the real-world experiences we gathered during the data collection phase. The characters in the videos come from a diverse mix of perspectives and cultural backgrounds, and this lends itself to the way they interact in each scene. They're working across a range of positions within their organization, as well as goals and initiatives which bring them together on multicultural teams in various interactions. Each character is also grounded in a specific DMIS stage which adds another dimension to their actions and reactions and can also be part of any dialogue about the particulars of each video. The videos can be used to build and practice a variety of skills useful for any workplace. They have thus far been used by intercultural trainers in their work in schools and companies, by coaches looking to work with their clients' intercultural competence skill set, and also by teachers looking to build awareness around intercultural issues in their classrooms, or as a way to examine workplace language and build pragmatic competencies in their students. In all, there are a total of four pieces to this resource for you to use. First, the 19 critical instance videos themselves, an activity guide for suggestions on ways to use them, a scene-by-scene -scene breakdown guide to help context each scene and help you understand what's going on in each, and finally a guide with the full transcript for each video. And the best part is, all these are available to you free by visiting our website at the address on the screen, or by googling Norquest Intercultural and clicking on the first link in the search list. Remember to look to the Projects link on the left-hand side of the page to access the Critical Instance resources. For any difficulties accessing these materials, or for any questions about the project, please feel free to contact me using the information on the screen. Also, if you do use the videos or the guides, feel free to send us a quick message about that experience. We'd love to hear your stories.